Hey guys, welcome to another episode of JMC Fishing. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of some crankbaits, some swim baits that I got. Um, I take it back just one crankbait and some swim baits that I bought. Uh, these are the Livingston uh, Glide baits. I got a few B Venom Glide baits and I have a V Viper, some V Viper uh, glide baits. Um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to unbox them. I'm going to show you the colors up close. I want you guys to take a look at them. Um, again, I try to do the reviews as if I was shopping for it. And I want to see a couple detailed stuff on it um, when I'm looking for uh, swim baits. So without further ado, here we go. Um, I got two of them that I have opened up already, so I'm going to bring those out first, and I'm going to show you them. Um, fortunately, I do not have the boxes to show you what the colors are, but this is the first one. It's the blue um, chartreuse, I guess I would say. It's like a color chartreuse. Uh, I don't know. They forgot the name of it. Let me try to get that for you right now. Hold on one second. Sorry about that, guys. Bear with me. All right. So, um, this was it. Blue pearl. Let's see if you can see that. Blue pearl chartreuse. That is this color. Okay. The line, yellow line, right straight across, and kind of like a glow green, bluish color, like a bait fish. Um, really cool looking. The tails are rubber, kind of like a rubbery uh, feeling, which is awesome. Um, and once again, Livingston is the, uh, they kind of just do the original, like the noise, the the beat noise. Um, what do they call it? Electronic beats fish sound. Um, they have four different choices. Um, you, could do, you could do silent, EBS shad, EBS crawl, or original. Um... Okay, so I'm going to put that right here on the side. The next one I have is the Chartreuse Blue Shiner. And that's this one. This is Chartreuse. It's got like a clear, it's pretty much clear in the, in the front, in the middle there, but it's got a nice uh, little Chartreuse with a blue face. So that's that again. That's the B3 Venom 6 inch. Chartreuse Blue Shiner. Alright. Next up. The Ghost Gizzard Shad B Venom. Now, this is the B Viper. This one's a little bit thicker. Uh, the other ones are the glide baits, you really like, kind of like the original thin um, type. This is more of a thicker shad. Once again, the blue shiner. Chartreuse blue shiner. Cool thing about these baits is you could adjust the weights on them. So um, they have the these shiners, the 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 B Vipers, yeah, the B three Vipers have three tungsten weights. Um, you can just pull out this pin here. I don't know if you could see that pin there. See that pin? You could pull out that pin, switch the weights, put one, two, or whatever it is that you want to put on there, 
and it could float to the top. You could might just be able to suspend it to a certain depth, um, or you could you know, have it at at a, at, a, at a deep for deep fishing. So just it just it just make it stay down. Um, it's actually a pretty cool, pretty cool looking lure. I saw the way they they uh, they swim, so they actually caught my eye with that. Um, the one perk is that the sound is is on there. It has that electric sound that living thing is uh it has it going on right now. Next one, brown hitch B Venom six inch glide bait. Um, this was a pretty cool looking one. Got this one because it was white. Um, a lot of baits have a, uh, this this some herring out there that have a little like a purple glow, bluish glow. And I thought that resembles a lot of, like it. So, kind of like a bluish. Um, when it shines in the light, it actually looks a little different color, like a pinkish color. But it's actually a really cool uh, glide bait. I'm actually hot. I'm very happy I invested in this. Put that back. Ooh, fix that up there. Make sure the straight not mess them up. Alright, next thing uh, is the B Viper. This thing's a monster. <laughs> it looks like a, I mean, I, I might, you could probably use this for, for salt water. Um, I wanted to get something big. And I, this is it. I mean, this is, this is it. This would be good to fish the Delaware River. I'm in Jersey, so the Delaware River for the shad. Um, or you might get lucky and just fish these mean, these big lakes here. And uh, catch these monster bass. Hybrid bass, striped bass. And this color is the Ghost Gizzard. And again, have the tungsten weights in the, in, in the middle, in the belly of the of the bait. And it has that pin that you could just pop out. Really cool. Can't wait to try to fish these. I got two of these. Um, I'm not going to take the other one out. That other one actually really resembles this one a lot. Um, if I had to think of anything, it actually is a little bit darker. Uh, and it has a little bit more of like a purplish color to it. It actually looks a lot alike. But they're not. Oh, that's a bad thing. Here, I'm going to take it out. So this is called the River Hitch, 8-inch River Hitch. And I'm just going to do a side comparison just in case you guys are wondering what the colors look like. I want you guys to know that way um, you guys know which color you want to choose from. I mean, they look one like a, a slight greener head than the other. And the other one has like a more gold of a, gold of a head. You can see that blue stripe right around right here on it. I don't think it's from the back. I think it's actually the lore itself. See? So it's the actual lore itself that has that. So this one again it's the river hitch right here. And then this is the ghost, the gizzard shed. And it's more of like a green head. Let me slide this back in here. Probably do some musky fishing, something.
All right, so those are those baits. Now the other bait is a crankbait. Um, I'm gonna try some chart, some um, some perch color. Um, just a lot of lakes. I have a lot of perch on here. So this one, look. Once I saw this, I said, "Let me. I gotta try it." So this is black dog bait. Um, I'm guessing it's some Japanese bait. Uh, Bought on eBay. I'm gonna try to get you the link to where I got these, just in case you, one of you guys are interested in it. Uh, it's the Gangcraft OSA crankbait. Um, show you the measurement of it. It comes in at right about three inches. Sorry guys, just bear with me here. Alright. And it is detail as hell. The guy who paints this is, you know, he actually she's talented. Um, it is very detailed. Kind of like a square bill, but it's a jointed one. There's the belly. So I'm excited for this. I'm very excited for this. We're cranking this. Um, the hooks are okay. Um, the split rings look a little bit cheap. Might want to replace the split rings, uh, but for the most part, the crankbait looks beautiful, and it looks like it will catch a lot of fish. So, um, let's see. Yep. All right, guys. All right. Like always, if you like the video, please hit the like button. Um, if you have any 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 comments or anything in reference or any questions, please ask away. And that's it, man. Like always, thanks a lot. Subscribe. I got more videos. I've been all, I've been very busy, so I haven't been able to actually put a lot of videos out there. But I'm just starting at this, so give me a thumbs up. Thanks a lot, guys.